was looking for uh, rice flour recipes for bread and I'm gonna have to blow out this camera again it's fuzzy and, um, oh yeah I dropped it yesterday uh, I found one on cookpad.com and this is from cook, cookpad.japan and uh, this is a a rice flour bread that actually cooking it in the microwave right now or a sample to see how it comes out and there it's done there's the bread right there it it's more like a biscuit it uses baking uh, powder in it it did poof a little bit um, it had it was all in grams it had 50 grams of rice flour three grams I believe of the baking powder five grams of light brown uh, fluffy light brown sugar uh, 20 grams of dry milk skim milk and 55 grams of water I believe I'm not positive on the all the weights and then it uh, in the microwave minute and a half for at 600 watts which on a thousand watt is 60 percent uh, so we're going to try it now. It is hot. Um, but I'm going to put the others in and let them go and we'll let this one cool so we can try it. Mom's angry. So I, I did these, uh, all of them at once on the other five. I did a total of six. The first one got a little dry on the bottom. Uh, actually, here's the, what, it broke off. This is one that we're testing that it's so light and fluffy it's amazing uh, mom's eat mom's already eaten the other half with some butter on it but they look beautiful and they taste great uh, they don't need butter but it's good they're very good without the butter because of the sweet the only issue I'm actually lactose intolerant and this does have the skim milk powder dry powder uh, I'd have to figure out maybe uh, instead of using the water and the milk powder just use some almond milk uh, I might but it it tastes good and we'll get rid of the oops um, just for uh, reference this was the one that we just did that was this light fluffy beautiful um, and this was the first one it much darker crustier it tore the paper getting it off um, but it ta they taste good they don't need butter they have has that little bit of sugar uh, and then the milk sugar which is what creates the lactose intolerance um, but they seem to be good uh, this was just a trial and mom said that it didn't seem to she didn't seem to feel it when it hit her stomach Again, these were the of the in, the ingredients were in these bowls. So I mean, it's and I mixed it and won this size. So there wasn't a lot, uh, and it worked out really well. Mom seemed to like it. I'm gonna have this other half, and uh, I'm gonna find peanut butter though. I think. Well, the biscuit. My microwave bread this morning got me thinking the reason I started doing the sourdough was actually because mom's been having issues with her stomach and she says the gluten free the rice did better so because of that I want to do more research on rice related and I've been thinking sourdough or excuse me, gluten is necessary to raise breads that use yeast. Sourdough is not yeast. It's a culture that bubbles. It's a bacteria that make, creates bubbles. So if you can make rye bread, or which is a very low gluten bread, or these other low gluten breads without having the high gluten flour, why can't you make a no gluten 
without adding the tapioca starch, the potato starch, flour, whatever that all the recipes call for. And so while we're on, the, I exhausted the batteries again. I don't know where I was at. Um, the with the gluten free, the something that I had thought about is I made a mostly gluten free sourdough start, and with the hot cakes. They don't add any flour unless it's too thin. So I'm going to try doing just a gluten-free sourdough start pancake. Um, and I'm going to have to grind up more rice to get anything done. But this is definitely something I want to think about and definitely want to try. And I honestly don't think that you need to do an all-purpose flour substitute using the tapioca starch, the... Uh, potato starch, the uh, corn starch, all those extra things to make it into an all-purpose flour when you don't need the gluten and you shouldn't need those binders. Uh, it should still work based on the way those biscuits just turned out uh, from the cookpad.com uh, rice bread recipes. I'm going to play around with that, uh, particularly with the sourdough. I am using the sourdough as the leavening, not yeast. And most recipes actually call for yeast. But I'm going to get to grinding. Just one more project. Well, I got the rice out. I'm going to do some more. Uh, but this is just something mom puts the double mint gum in the flour to preserve it, keep the bugs out. This one she has bay leaves in. There are all kinds of different ways. I need to get a little bit of this put into the grinder. So far, half a pickle jar. So I guess probably need another couple cups. Just gonna sit here and put it in until I get enough to fill that. Thanks for watching. Perhaps cooking. Feel free to share, give me a thumbs up, or subscribe.